five children. How many trials do you think that, that is? That's five trials, OK? The number of children that you're going to have is called a trial. Don't get confused with the English language uh, definition of trial, meaning you're trying. It has nothing to do with it. Okay? It's not, it has nothing to do with trying to have a kid. These are known formally as Bernoulli trials, and that language comes from that setting. Okay? But your book keeps it and doesn't explain that word. Fine. So the number of trials simply is going to be the number of children here you're going to have in your example. You plan to have five children, so n is five. In this scenario, you have two children, you have how many trials? Two. OK, you guys OK with this? What if you have 10 children? How many trials are you going to have? 10. 20 children. 20. You could even use this formula if you planned on having 100 children. OK? Not that it's possible, but in theory, it's possible if you're a male, in theory. It's, I don't think it's possible if you're a female. Is it? I don't think so. But if you're male, it's possible to have 100 children. OK? X is the number of what? Successes. You guys OK with this? The reason I'm asking, or the reason I ask what you'd rather have, boys or girls, is because maybe you think of a success as having a son. Or maybe you think of a success as having a daughter. So you're counting successes when you have five children, OK? So here's the deal. In your number of children questions with this binomial formula here, if I want to say this to you. Let your successes be not what you want to have, but let your successes be what's in the question. So what kind of successes do, do you have here? What's a success? Well. What's in the question? Girl, girl, girl. So here you can let x be the having girls. You're counting successes when you have five children. You guys with me on this? So if x is having a girl, a number of successes, how many successes did you have here when you had one girl? One. How many successes do you have here when you have two girls? How many successes do you have here when you have no girls? So let this thing called a success be what? What's in the question, OK? It doesn't have to be, but it's going to make things much easier. So if they're asking you, what's the probability of having no girls? Well, guess what? x is a value 0. You had no successes. One girl, x is a value of 1. Two girls, x is the value of 2. So in your binomial formula, x being the number of successes, this is what we mean by a success. It's really, I mean, it could be anything. It could be boys here, but let it be girls. Because if you let it be girls, then these values now make sense. No girls means 0. 1 means 1. 2 means 2. See what I'm saying? OK. Now what's the next value you have to determine here? What is that little p? What's the definition of that little p? Huh? The probability of a what? Success. What's a success? Having a girl. So when they say little p is the value or the probability of having one success, this is like saying you're having one child. And what's the probability of having a what? A, a girl. When you have one child, that's, that's one, that's for the probability of a success. Remember, when you have a child, you're having it one at a time. And let's say you say having girls are a success. If you have a child, can you tell me what's the probability of having a girl when you have one child? OK, you guys know the answer. You're saying it. So what's that probability? P is what? One half. Because there's two outcomes when you have one child. You can have either a boy or you can have a what? Girl. The probability you have a girl is one half. Probability you have a boy is also one half, right? OK. But we're just looking at the probability of having a girl because we called having a girl a success. 
Does that really mean a success? No, but it's in the question, so that's what we're going to go with. You guys okay with this? These values, what is N? Number of trials, how many children you're going to have. What is X? The number of successes. How do you know what a success is? Use what's in the question. That's the success. P, that's the probability of a success. So if it's having a girl, you answer the probability of having one girl is one half when you have a child, one child. So this setting here is the one setting, having only one. Okay? You guys ready for this now? Because I haven't given you the formula yet. Okay, you guys want the formula? You ready? I don't know. I don't know, Moshe. I don't know if they look, they don't look ready, do they? Is it just me? Or do you feel it too? It's kind of like, oh. Here we go. You guys ready? P of X is N C X. P to the X. 1 minus P to the N minus X. <laughs> That's why I asked if they were ready. Do you guys know what this is? What is this? Combination. What is this P? You see this little P before? It's that little P. What's 1 minus P? Isn't that the complement? What's N? You guys know what N is? Yeah. And what is X? Number of successes. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Let's note. Let's go back for a second to the two children problem. You remember the first question? What's the first question? No girls. Didn't we say here that n is the value what? 2 in that setting because you're having two children. So for that first question, what's the value of x again? Zero. Is that right? We already talked about it. X is zero. P is the value of what? One half. This is all the information you need to answer the question. I already know you know the answer, but we're going to use a binomial formula. So what the formula is saying is this. The probability of having zero girls. Zero girls. No girls. P of zero is... Tell me, what's n? Here's what I'm going to do. What I usually do is I'll write down the formula. Every time I use it, I write it down. The reason I do that is because it helps you to remember this formula by doing it. If you just looked at, at, looked at the formula in your book and try to do this, it's, it's possible that you're not transferring that information in, an you know, in a way that you can apply the knowledge. So here's the deal. What's the value of x now? Zero. Wherever there's an x, put a what? Put a zero. You guys okay with this? What's the value of n? Two. Wherever there's an n, put a what? Two. What else is left? Little p. Wherever there's a little p, put a what? One half. Now, you have all 